Welcome back Cougars. So in this video we're going to work on day three, challenge two of our uh, scratch maze project. And in this, pro uh, this challenge we're going to use receive and send messages or broadcast messages and receive messages in order to set up our title sequence. So to start with um, we need to create a new project and name it broadcast and share it. And then uh, just to save ourselves a little bit of time, we are going to um, reuse some of what we did in video one. So starting with when clicked, if you haven't finished this, watch video one and finish this. We're going to go to file and save as a copy and up in the title, you'll see the word copy appear. So now we have a new copy and we're just going to rename it broadcast and we're going to share it. So let's look inside and because this is the coding for our old one, we're going to go ahead and drag all this code out so that we have a nice blank slate. The reason for copying it is so that we don't have to go back and recreate all of our backdrops and uh, we don't have to go back and recreate all of our sprites. So let's go ahead and get started. To start with, I want to go into my backdrops and code the beginning of our program. So I'm going to say when the green flag is clicked and I'm going to add a message. I'm going to broadcast a message a new message and I'm going to call it start. And what happens here is the program screams the word start so that every other piece of code can hear it. Some pieces of code we're going to tell to react when they hear it. Some pieces of code we're going to tell to not react when they hear it. But this sends that signal. So we're now going to say when um, when I receive start, we want to change the backdrop, change the backdrop to start. All right. So now when we hit the green flag, our code's going to yell start. And once it hears that, it's going to change the backdrop to start. And it seems to be working. Let's go to our actual start icon now. We'll click show just so we can see it. And let's move them where we want them. Maybe something like this. So inside of our start icon, I'm going to say when I receive the message start. In other words, when I hear that get screamed, I want my start sprite, want my start sprite to go to its current location and show. And when I, uh, inside of my how to play sprite, I'm going to say when I receive the code start to go to its current location and show. So now if I take these and move them around, when I hit the green flag, our code should line up nice, up nice and neatly. And I can also check by switching my backdrop to something different and then moving these around. And when I get the green flag, it should all line up nice and neatly. Excellent. So let's go in now and code our sprite called start. And I'm going to say when this sprite is clicked. So when the start sprite is clicked, I want it to broadcast a message. Um, and the message that I want it to broadcast, let's do a new message, and we're going to call it level one. Now I'm going to go back to my, my backdrops and I'm going to say when I receive the message level one, I want that backdrop to switch to level one. These are the different backdrops we drew. So when I receive level one, I want the backdrop to switch to level one. Coming back inside of our start button, when we receive uh, level one, I want the start button to hide. 
So I can add that here. I can say when the start button is clicked, broadcast level one, and hold. So let's try that now. We've got our green flag. We click start. It goes to level one and the start button hit. All right, now we're going to tell the how to play button to behave. So we're going to say when I receive level one, and we just want it to hide. All right, so let's test it. Starting at the beginning, we click start. We're now on our level one, and all of our buttons that we don't want are hidden. Let's go back now and program the how to play button. So, for the how to play, I'm going to say when this sprite is clicked, broadcast, a new message, and we're going to call it how to play. So we're going to broadcast how to play. Let's go back to our backdrops so we can keep these nice and organized. And when I receive how to play, I want to switch the backdrop to how to play. All right, so we now have our backdrops nice and neat. Let's come back over to this tab. When we click how to play, the backdrop is going to switch to how to play. And I want this button to disappear. So we're going to go ahead and hide that button. Let's test it. So now we have up here would be where we put all of our words for how to play and we click start, our game starts. So checking our title sequence, we have our title, and we hit start, we play, and we hit how to play, it takes us to the how to play page, we hit start, it works. And all of this is coded using messages. All of this is coded using um, broadcast and when I receive messages.